renamed in late 2020. There's a look at Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with the Los Angeles Rams. Ready to get us started, the Aussie punter and kickoff man, Michael Dixon. And off we go from Seattle. They'll throw on first down with Griffin. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. To throw is RG3. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Here's a second and two now from the 33. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. They'll try and run for this with Akers. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yardage? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out, you got everything. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Nick Needham picks it off. And the Seahawks are going to take possession of the football as they force the turnover on the opening drive. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. These two teams matching up for the second time this year. Their first meeting back in October, week six. And it was the visitors getting the win there. So they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. Here they come, second and 10 now from the 10. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. But well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. Wilson. Catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. And we talk about complimentary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got to turn over. We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. No gain on the play there, second down. Well, this defense for the Rams, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? On second down now, it's Carson. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. On 
third down, Wilson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Here comes Reed. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Now it appears we're going to get whistles and a stop. A man down on the return. We'll check on his status when we get back. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Relatively small sample size, but that's his longest run of the first quarter. Bounced it out to the outside to make it successful. And to get there, you actually need some help. It's not just your pure speed getting to the corner, making sure that the blocking is taken care of inside so the pursuit doesn't get you. And oftentimes, those wide receivers, tight ends that might be flexed out, they've got to control the edge and make sure no one from the outside can spill the play before he gets there. These two teams, remember, met in Inglewood earlier in the year with the Rams coming out on top. So a win here in Seattle, tough as that may be, would give them the season sweep. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play action. Now Griffin. Rush coming, and he's taken down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Well, they sit him on the blitz from that linebacker's spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it was hard for anyone to react. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw under pressure, and they got to him again. William Golston able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves, certainly paying dividends in what we've seen so far. It's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good, and this will remain a scoreless game. That would have been from way downtown. Pretty big roll of the dice, and he comes up a bit short. Yeah, you knew when you saw the holder setting up on the other side of the 50 <laughs> that this was going to be a long shot. But to me, there's really no loss here because you've shown confidence in him kicking it from a long distance, that'll pay dividends. And the miss, you can shake that one off. It wasn't likely to make it in the first place. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. They'll run on first down. Carson finding room to the 20. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. That's his longest run of the first quarter. And, Charles, we talked before the game about them needing to establish the run game. They'll be looking for more of that. And they got to the perimeter. So that tells me that that's part of the game plan of what they want to get done today. So they'll have some complimentary runs where he'll run it to the inside. But it appears that when they want the big yardage, they think they can get to the outside and make it happen. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. From the two now, second and goal. 
They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. No score after one on EA Sports. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. On third down, it's Carson. He's going to be marked down very close to the first down marker, but it looks like he's a yard short. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. Touchdown, and the Seahawks' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Carlson, up and good, and it's now a seven-nothing game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. As we grind toward the end of the season here, and they haven't had the season that they had hoped. So let me ask you to play GM. Where might they look to make some changes? I think when you look into the upcoming draft, think hard about them drafting multiple offensive linemen. They've got to get stouter up front. And as a GM, it always tells me, Charles, this is a big boy league, and big people always end up winning games for you. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Here's Griffin. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. On first down, Griffin. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So, Charles, you talk about this head coach, and let, let's face it, this season certainly has not gone the way many had expected or at least hoped. And I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier this week. Yeah, we certainly did, didn't we? Because, let's face it, he's heard the whispers, and they're going louder that he shouldn't be around next year. He essentially stormed out of that meeting you just referenced with the reporters. How did he end it? We're done here. <laughs> That's a function of losing and all the pressure that's on him. Hear about pressure creating diamonds? In this case, it's bursting the pipes of the coach. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. We ought to come up with a T-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Get his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely. Picked his lane, went with it, and converted. Now Griffin on first down. He'll get this underneath to Henderson. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Griffin. 
quickly, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Now it's Griffin. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty, no question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do I don't would even do know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now. First and 10 at their 25-yard line. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first and ten, it's Wilson. Catch is made by Metcalf. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. On first down, Carson. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 29, Wilson. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Now it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So out now is the Seattle field goal team. From the left hash, this from 46. The kick by Carlson is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. 
So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. Pressure comes. He's taken down by the Seahawk defense. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Third and long, it's Griffin. Got a man open, it's Tyler Higby. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 19 on the last play, 19 more here at another first down. Now Griffin. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. Similar to a shooter in basketball, just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Second and 10. From the gun, it's Griffin. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for him. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the shotgun, Griffin. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Looking for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot, but the coverage up to the task, and it forces a fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will tie things up as we head toward halftime. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they'll have time for one play. There's two seconds on the clock. Now a first down run is going nowhere. He's going to be dropped in the backfield, a loss of two. 
So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. The final two quarters of the NFL regular season are upon us as the second half of week 17 is underway. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Wilson of the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson getting this around tree out of the backfield. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Working with a second and three. This is Carson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Here's Carson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 62 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They run it with Carson. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Now it's second and nine. Now it's Carson. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first yard line. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go down at about the length of the football. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. A field goal would get them the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Third and inches, just turn around and hand it to the big guy and let him plow forward and pick up a first down. A lot of people think that the offensive line, they may almost take the play off because they got a big guy back there pushing forward. I think it actually works in reverse. I think they block harder because they love seeing that guy get the ball because he doesn't touch it very often. They'll run on first down. It's Carson. And he's brought down. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. Wilson. 
Wilson on the keeper. And no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Gordon. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Melvin Gordon with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Seahawks have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Carlson on for the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense, plenty of time to get back in this game. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. Akers hit, he coughs it up. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time, we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. A gain of six there on first. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 35, back to work on second and four. What we got? Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. 92 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Keep it on the ground. This time it's Gordon. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there. And that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. Now Carson fumbles the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. So turnovers, Charles, you figure, will be key in the second half. And that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security. And none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown.
touchdown, L.A. 2-2 Atwell, 79 yards. And the Rams have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will tie our game here in the third. 17-17 the score, all even to this point as the kick's away. This fielded right at the goal line, and this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll -no. <laughs> see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Well, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. From the 27, Wilson. It's complete to Lockett. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. on first down and the Rams got him they bring him down Porter Gustin it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him so that complicates things a bit here 18 yards to go now on second down another try after the first down sack Wilson now a leaping catch, he's got it. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 42. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now they run from the gun with Gordon. Solid running on the carry, but still brought down just inside the 40. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. From the shotgun, Wilson. to the ground incomplete a nice job of bodying him up defensively and now it brings up third down on the very outer edge of field goal range it would be 56 yards if they got nothing here on third down the gun. Here's Wilson. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good and a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Blitz coming and down he goes. They overload him that time with a safety blitz and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Griffin. 
complete. Jefferson to target. And he's got some space here. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. They go play action. Griffin letting one go deep for the end zone. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Jacob Harris, his second touchdown on the season. And the Rams have broken our tie as they take the lead. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Eluding the pressure right. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, it's Carson, and he loses the football a second time. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the give, this is Akers. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Nick Needham picks it off. And the Seahawks are right back in this football game. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at the 34. They'll try and run with their fullback. A gain of three, second down. A good solid game there on first down, but the defense has to be happy. They didn't let it pop for anything bigger. Play action with Wilson. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28. He has just been a load for opposing offenses to account for. Now eight interceptions on the year. I love that number because I always think of center field. You know, when I hear eight, because that's the position you write in the scorecard in baseball. And what do good center fielders do? Take away all the alleys, right? They range deep and make a whole lot of great catches. You know, if following up on this head coach and the pressure that he is under, CD, I want to switch it to you because you've been on winning teams, but I know you've been in similar situations too where things just are not going well. How do you approach that as a player? It's a tough approach, Brandon, because you actually have to do the opposite of what you would think. You know, in your mind, you're thinking, I redouble my efforts, I go harder. In a sense, you have to back off a little bit. You have to do a little bit less. Do what you're supposed to do, but don't take on the pressures of doing more 
and trying to do your teammates' jobs as well. If you do that, that's really going to lead you to more issues. Going up top for Cup. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Brian Poole. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you gotta be super careful. Gotta be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw is Wilson. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now, remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? And, oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And the Rams are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are and positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance, he's helping his team in a huge way. Second down and eight. the gun Griffin go oh, going for Jefferson downfield and that will be incomplete try to dial up the long way way out there but it'll be third down I remember a coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL corner is like the autobahn everybody just flying by and these corners have been really busy in this game although they got it done on the last play on the last play yes but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively and now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. On first down, Akers. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. They'll run here with Akers. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. 81 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. On third down, here's a run by Akers. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is indeed good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor.
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. This is caught. It's Woods. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Wilson. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. With no timeouts left, that's a dangerous proposition working the middle of the field. Fortunately for them, that one fell incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing now is Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. Wilson to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. One last shot for Wilson. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And the Rams come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here, and you've got